everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you just joining, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. My name is Melinda and my username on those platforms is Tailored and Teal. Today I am bringing you a uh, thread up online sourcing video and I actually have one item that I did not source from thread up that I want to show you first. So I was scrolling through eBay looking at um, North Face and Patagonia jackets and I came across this one. So it's a North Face vertical. It is also um, Gore-Tex. So here's a, it's a purple tag, which I looked this up a little bit and I can't remember what I found about it. Um, and it's a size 12 and it is Gore-Tex, which I think I watched a video from Rally Roots saying that Gore-Tex jackets do pretty well. Um, and then it's kind of like got a retro 80s vibe to it with this blue and purple colors here. Inside is great. There's no rips, nothing like that. Um, it does have some discoloration on the inside here, but nothing terrible and I tried it on and it fits me I'm not gonna keep it but it is really nice so with thread up I wrote down how much I spent I sourced their online outlet yet again um, I purchased 20 items at $143.20 which comes out to be over seven dollars per item not ideal however um, I don't really have a choice and I need to find inventory somehow I do think I'd like to branch out to maybe some wholesale lots instead of sourcing for hours and hours on ThreadUp because I'll tell you, it's not easy and it does take up a lot of your time. However, there are some gems out there that you can find. So let's get into it. All right, so first up is a LuLaRoe cardigan. Um, it is new with tags, which is nice. It's a size medium and it's called the Sarah cardigan. And I just really enjoyed, I cannot find how this goes. Nope, that's the side. Ah, oh my gosh. There it is. <laughs> All right, so it's this really nice like Aztec print to it. It is long and it does have pockets in the front, which is super nice. And um, it's a very long cardigan. And I know that cardigans like these sell, still sell for LuLaRoe. Next up, this was a gamble. Um, it's called Luxie, L-U-X-Y Activewear. And there's their little logo here. These are a size six. Um, so they're activewear pants and I really liked their print. It's like a little sage, sage green color and just activewear pant. This was a cool find. So here is a belt. It has Turquoise, I highly doubt that this is real turquoise, um, but it's just a tooled leather belt. It is from the brand Task Force. I think that's the brand anyway. Um, Genuine Cow High, it does say 2019, so it's not an old belt and it's a pretty um, bigger size. It is uh, extra large, so fantastic. And that was under their assorted brands. Um, so here we have a pair of J. Crew stretch high heel flare. This unfortunately is an older J. Crew tag. Um, I think this is from yeah spring of 2009. So it's still okay because they're in good condition. They are a flare, and hopefully they will still sell. Try not to pick up. J. Crew factory, but when the pickings are slim, sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and do it. Okay, this next brand was exciting to me. So this is FC UK jeans, not the other word like you probably think. Um, these are a size six and they're just a really nice flare leg jean and they have these really cute embroidery on the back. Yeah. Look these up on Poshmark as well, about $25 to $35. 
and they're in really nice condition. I keep saying that really nice condition, but they are. <laughs> um, this is a Fab Fabletics extra large tank top red. The thing I really liked about this is that it is cut out in the back and it ties down here. This was a gamble. These pants looked really nice on the screen. They looked like they were quality. I have no idea what this brand is, um, but it is um, X Outdoor Lifestyle, size six, gray. Tie strings down here. And yeah, I have to do more research on that, but. Oh, I actually just looked over here. Zero exposure, is that what that says? Yeah. I did purchase quite a few pairs of jeans this time. Um, this is a White House Black Market. This is the Blanc, it's called. Six, size six. Another, I think this is like a boot cut or even wide leg, but I really liked the pockets in the back. Dark wash good condition now these next ones were not in good condition and i'm kind of upset at thread up because they listed these as like new and they certainly are not so these are silence and noise jegging size 28 and there's puckering up front they're so like thin and worn um the inside seems to be okay there but i just was expecting something different than what the picture shown. So yeah. Not sure how those will do. Uh, honestly, I'll be lucky if I just get my money back from that. This is a Pure Jill by J Jill. Hello lights, they're so bright. There we go. Pure Jill by J Jill, size small. This is a cardigan, open front. Nice, it, this material is super soft and there are pockets in the front. Nice blue color. These are really cool. So these are the brand Pistola, size 26, but they're like a coated denim. I don't know what they're coated with. Maybe, maybe wax coating, um, but they're skinny leg, really, really nice condition. And I'm excited to list those. Then we have a pair of True Religion jeans. These will um, replace the bad ones that I got in my Thread Up Denim Rescue box, so I'll take it. Um, so these are a size 26. This label in the back I just realized is starting to come undone, but that's okay. These are a light wash, so I'm not sure how they will do, but they do have a little bit of distressing here, and they are a flare. Just the back, True Religion pockets and they have this cool seam here at the bottom so. this was interesting this was in their assorted brands but it's Ralph Lauren X and this actually does decently well on Poshmark and it's in really nice condition striped it's striped with teal and um, like a dark blue and white so it's a nice active wear shirt. This is Vanessa Virginia. If I can find the tag, here we go. This is size uh, US 10. I believe this is silk. No, it doesn't feel like silk. Oh, it's 70% cotton and 30% silk. That's why I was thinking that. So it is, oh, nope. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, maybe this does crisscross. <laughs> okay, well, this is what it looks like. Um, hopefully I can find a stock picture because this is atrocious, um, but it's got off the shoulder, kind of stretchy um, elastic sleeves over here. The sleeves flare out like this. I, it looks like that this crisscrosses and then it's got this really, uh, cute fish print all over it, but yeah. Hopefully I can find a stock photo. 
This is a BB Dakota dress. I think I've only found BB, BB Dakota once in the thrift stores. I didn't pick it up because it didn't, I didn't like the style of it. So this dress I thought was really cute. It is a size zero, but here's the top, the bottom. Actually, what is this content? The upper portion is 70% cotton and 30% silk, and the lower is 100% silk, so. Whew. <laughs> Here is another silk piece. So one piece of advice I can give you all if you're sourcing on ThreadUp Outlet or even just ThreadUp in general, I took the material, there's a category for material, and you can choose linen or wool or silk. And that's how I found some of the higher end items is by the fabric content. So this is a laundry by Shelly Seagal. This is a size zero. It is 100% silk on the outside and the lining is polyester. So it's a strapless. These are just what you hang on the hanger when you hang it. Uh, but it's got ribbing up top here cute little tie and then it's got this polka dots with this beautiful sage green color this would be a great dress like to wear to a wedding beautiful this is a lady hagger hagger or hagen i think it's hagger hagen it's hagen that's what that says it's in cursive so it's hard to read um, so this is, there it is. This is a size 10. This is just an active wear skirt or skirt with shorts lining underneath. I've sold a skirt of this brand before. It was actually an older style and it did pretty decently and it's got the zipper in the back, but it is new with tags and it retails for $60. Another J Crew piece. Um, this is might be new without tags because it's got this little barbell here. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. It looks really nice. So it's a size zero and here is J. Crew. It is the pencil skirt. It looks like it's J. Crew outlet too because it has the little dots and I want to see when this was made. <laughs> okay, well, it's not oh, it's always on the bottom and this time it's on the top. So this was actually from the summer of 2017. So not too bad, but it's this like buffalo plaid check blue and white skirt. It is lined underneath. Really nice career wear. This is a pair of Zella leggings. I have never found Zella in the wild. There's the brand. And this pretty peach colored athletic pant. And this is a size large, I believe. So great size. And last but not least is a Carlisle piece. It's Carlisle, this is size four. This is a wool cotton silk blend and it's a houndstooth. Am I showing it right? Yep. Houndsu skirt with these cute little buttons up front. And it's a great pencil skirt to wear to work or to a fancy occasion. I have re I found another Carlisle piece and it was a twin set. So it had the cardigan and tank top underneath and it sold for a good chunk of money. So if you find Carlisle, it is a designer piece, pick it up. All right, well, that's all I have to show you this round. Um, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. If you could please hit the like button if you like what you saw. If you have any input about any of the items I found, I'd love to hear it below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I do try to put out videos at least once a week. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye.